Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the uh, Lasham briefing for Friday, the 5th of uh, July, 2024. Uh, we'll start with the synoptic. Uh, this is yesterday at lunchtime. And if we run that through uh, midnight last night, you can see this uh, waving front here uh, approaching from the southwest. And uh, lunchtime today, <clears throat> that should be uh, well into the English Channel. Uh, and that's bringing a fair amount of, uh, sort of wet weather with it. If we run that on through midnight tonight and into tomorrow, you can see it clears out uh, with a kind of a weak trough uh, across um, sort of East Anglia, Cambridgeshire, up into Lincolnshire. And uh, the isobars are uh, still reasonably close together, so it's going to give a little bit of a windy day tomorrow. But uh, we should get something out tomorrow. Today, I'm not too hopeful for, uh, although there might be a, a, a two or three hour window in the middle of the day if the cloud base goes up and it dries out enough. Uh, looking at the spot winds then, uh, to the north of us, 260, 10 knots, and to the south of us, 240, 30 knots. Uh, I guess that's uh, down by the front. Uh, looking at the cloud uh, and the sat picture, uh, we can see this uh, front moving reasonably fast uh, by the looks of it. It's, uh, it's a lot quicker than we normally see on these sat pictures. And uh, uh, this gap to the uh, sort of north and west of it may be with us by about lunchtime. Uh, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. And uh, they're certainly going to wave back over the top of us by later on in the afternoon. Uh, so the rain radar is showing this picture at the moment uh, with uh, sort of gaps in the uh, in the frontal rain, but uh, there's there's a lot of extensive stuff out to the west there. So if we run the uh, the forecast picture through, uh, we can see that here comes this gap around about lunchtime. Yeah, but it's only here for maybe an hour or two at the most. Uh, and of course, we need cloud base to go up. We need it to to dry it long enough to get the kit out and and go flying. Uh, I'm going to remain hopeful for that gap, but uh, but not too hopeful. Uh, you can see how for the rest of the day and into the evening, uh, that, that's uh, waves right up over the, uh, the top of us and up into uh, sort of uh, the Midlands. And that's not going to be through until at least midnight, if not one o'clock in the morning. So the local forecast has shown those gaps in the, uh, in the rain. Uh, the temperature uh, rising up to a maximum of about 17 today. Uh, the wind is uh, west southwesterly, uh, sort of back into southwesterly um, by the sort of afternoon, and uh, looking at the uh, the, the gustings at sort of 21, 20 uh, throughout the day, uh, it's uh, it's not going to be too pleasant out there on the airfield. Uh, GFS temperatures showing about 17 uh, at lunchtime today, and the dew point is somewhere down around about uh, five. Uh, so the uh, the local weather here at Lasham, we've got uh, 15 centigrade at the moment with a dew point of 13, so there's only a two degree split. And if uh, we have a look at the forecast, um, basically Dave Masson saying uh, the wind's going to be west southwesterly, uh, 24 uh, plus, uh, to start uh, with a lull late morning, early afternoon, uh, and then west southwesterly, 20 knots. Uh, and uh, getting locally sortable, but then showery. Uh, it may be flyable uh, on and off uh, and saying to please look at the day. Now, bear in mind that was uh, uh, forecast yesterday for today. Uh, the outlook for tomorrow uh, is after the cold front, potentially heavy rain overnight, uh, another good but very windy air mass. Uh, we'll just leave that one there and uh, look at it in more detail tomorrow. Uh, so looking out the, uh, uh, the window at the moment, uh, the, the view out to the west, uh, that was about 15 minutes ago. I'll just refresh that. Uh, you can see we've got quite a low cloud base uh, and uh, quite reasonably thick cloud. It's still quite dull out there. The uh, Odium uh, so Taffs and Metars, the, 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 the Taff is um, quite extensive, uh, <clears throat> but essentially uh, it's saying lots of low cloud base and lots of uh, potential for rain. Uh, and the same with uh, Farnborough, uh, some reasonably extensive uh, TAF, uh, never a good sign when there's lots and lots of information in a TAF. Uh, and that's saying rain and drizzle and uh, so on throughout the day. So sky sight are reflecting uh, exactly what we would expect uh, in terms of no potential flight distance uh, of Lasham today. 
And if we have a look at the uh, sort of cross section that they're providing, um, very, very low cloud base um, up until about one, two in the afternoon uh, with a, a potential window uh, in the afternoon, uh, but nothing brilliant. Uh, if we have a look at uh, Top Meteo, uh, again, they're uh, saying that uh, sort of, uh, south of uh, Cardiff to Cambridge, um, uh, absolutely nothing possible. And if we have a look at the uh, sort of thermal projection throughout the day, uh, this is nine o'clock in the morning, and we just run that uh, hour on hour. Uh, we can see in the Lasham area, it remains heavy rain, rain, uh, the odd tiny little uh, sort of clearance coming through. Uh, the, there was a hint there uh, of soaring getting quite close to us, but uh, Top Meteor didn't, don't think it'll ever get here. So no times for today. If we do fly, I'm only going to mention the uh, the, the one at Barton Stacey, that's uh, the usual uh, range there uh, with live firing, uh, and that's 26. So just bear with me, two ticks whilst we go on to uh, the sort of local brief. Uh, just a reminder of uh, the, the no terms for REACT is uh, replaced by the briefing sheet, uh, Mike 092 uh, forward slash 2024, and you can find that on the NATS um, website. So the ODM cross section today is uh, uh, showing the front over the top of us, uh, lots and lots of layers of cloud, uh, cloud based down at 400 feet earlier on. Uh, gradually getting up to about 1,000, maybe 1,500 feet, uh, even 2,000 feet if we're uh, lucky, uh, around about lunchtime and into the early afternoon. Uh, the booking sheet, well, that reflects the forecast. Um, there's only one uh, disc is booked there, and, uh, uh, and that's pretty much it. So that gives us uh, a K21 on the book constructor flying, a K21 casual list, uh, K21 on five-day course and everything thing else is available uh, bar that one booked discus. Um, so volunteers for the casual list, probably not required today, but uh, you know, you're know you always welcome to uh, come along and help out. Uh, the buggy management readers are working well and the simulator is available all day. Uh, so if we can make use of that for uh, those students that do turn up, uh, please do so. Uh, movements, uh, there's one uh, it's a large movement going out uh, round about one o'clock local, and uh, there's a possible uh, light aircraft. Uh, there's no flight plan being issued yet, uh, but if it does go, uh, they may be doing a local flight first and then landing back and then departing later, uh, and it may well need fuel <clears throat> if that's going to happen today. Uh, if we do set up, it will be on runway 27. Uh, for the sort of summer dry operation. Uh, it's moderate west-southwesterly winds backing to southwest. Uh, I doubt there'll be a club grid today. Uh, just a reminder then, a couple of things uh, um, from 2XL about the, uh, the strobe on. Uh, make sure you're familiar with the Lasham Aerodrome safeguarding procedures. And a message from engineering, uh, the parachute covered in the hangar uh, has been found open on more than one occasion. Uh, could you please switch the light off and close the door after use? Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, parachutes in there that need to be kept warm and dry. So a visual representation of uh, what we're doing if we do set up a uh, launch point vehicle on the runway, winching to the south and club air to toe uh, on the runway. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, that westerly, southwesterly wind. Uh, shown there. That's it for today. Uh, I'll probably see you in the clubhouse. Um, if we do go out, have a good day, enjoy yourselves, but please do take care. It's going to be windy out there. Remember about ground handling and looking after canopies. Thanks very much. See you later. Bye. <laughs>